Hi there, Chris. Yeah, the mild temperatures, no doubt the headline this week. It's like spring came early, so no surprise. You've got cherry blossoms already providing that nice vibrant color you love to see. I mean, this time of the year, by the way, if you're looking for this later, we're pretty much on the west side of the reservoir uh, right along Bridal Path, I'd say about 89th Street or so. So come check it out. You'll find it up and down the Bridal Path and other parts of the park as well, like uh, Cedar Hill and uh, Pilgrim Hill for sure. So uh, you've perhaps seen some walkers join us from time to time. It's it's a busy morning and why not? You want to get some outdoor exercise when it's nice and refreshing like it is now in the mid 40s. By this afternoon, you might think it's too warm as temperatures climb into the 70s. Let's show you how this all stacks up from morning to afternoon. It's a good looking day. Got sunshine all day long. So we go from 40s to 50s to 60s to flirting with 70 by this afternoon. You're not worried about rain. Just lace up those sneakers, grab some water. You're good to go. But it's an impressive warm day on tap. How about we go for 70? So bottom line, it's warmer than it was yesterday. We're more than 20 degrees above the average and within five degrees of the record. Think about that. It's a day that feels more like an, uh, a March day in Los Angeles than it does in New York City. Not complaining, but what might have you complaining is the uh, sniffles and the sneezing. I mean, you're sensitive to the pollen. Uh, that's starting to come back, and no surprise with all the warmth as well. The tree pollen especially problematic, so uh, just something to kind of keep in mind. Uh, the, the elm, the juniper, some of the, the most problematic, and grass, ragweed, weed, not so much of an issue, but just something to keep in mind as we start to feel like spring. I know it feels like spring, but as we send it on over John. The bottom line is it's not growing season yet. We can still get frost freeze conditions into April. We got cool another cool down coming here heading into next week. Uh, but for the meantime, we got to enjoy what we've got. And, I, and I'm sure the weather watchers are. But Tony, I got to thank you. This this pollen is driving me crazy and I made the huge mistake. So I was in Florida last week. Anybody been to Florida lately? Oh my gosh, the pollen down there is crazy. If you have a, a like a black or white car, forget about it. So what happens is it starts here, then it goes there. So you know the drill. We feel your pain. We're going to be talking pollen a lot over the next few weeks. Tony's right, though. Weather Watchers loving this. Look at these numbers. These numbers for March for this time of day are just great and above normal. Not record numbers, as noted, but still nice. So, obviously having fun with Pie Day. It is also Potato Chip Day. Not as elaborate there with the presentation, but I appreciate it. Save a Spider Day. Um, uh, ooh, some problems there getting over to Belmar there. Ron sent that in. Beautiful there in the Hudson Valley. That's a bear. That's a bear. So these warmer temperatures, you know, Rich sent in a picture of a bear. And I love this, too, from Neil. This was at Washington Valley Road last night. Love it. Just beautiful. So we are celebrating. We're celebrating what has been a warm month. Now, again, it is kind of, you know, messing with things with these numbers, not a little above normal way above normal. It was interesting talking to uh, Philip over at the uh, Helena this morning. He was saying, boy, this week compared to last week, what a gift and in more ways than one. As we take another look at the Almanac for the month, yeah, three inches of rain last week resulting in all the flooding issues. Well, that's been replaced by this delightfully dry period, but rain is back in the mix, not in a big way. And I want to stress that this is not flooding rain. This is not flooding rain. This is not flooding rain. And notice the odds are relatively low. Want to use the very aggressive European forecast model to show you some of the other models are backing off even more. Europeans still bringing in a shower overnight tonight into early Friday. Overstating, I think, some of the green on the scene here, central South Jersey, better candidates would be north. And then Friday shapes up for the most part. Stray shower in the afternoon, another shower at night. Saturday is relatively quiet. Sunday is a little bit more active. So for your St. Patrick's Day fun, uh, or if you're doing the half marathon, it's going to be a, a little wet, but not a lot. This is interesting, though. First part of next week, yes, yeah, snow in the Poconos, possibly. It's going to be quite a bit colder as we set our sights on spring. We are doing some micro research in the weather department. Mm, yeah. What is it? Um, uh, uh, our producer, Justin Lewis, did a poll yesterday asking people, mm -hmm. is it too soon to hit 70 degrees? We'll have the results coming up.
Is it too soon, meaning what? Is it too soon to have 70 degrees? No. Well, we have it's another never, vote for no. Never too soon. Say that. 70 degrees. Some people disagree, apparently. Uh, yes, they do. A bit of a debate. Yes, yeah. <laughs>